now let us look at a new affix the affix khash the sutram here is 3 2 28 aj khash and the vritti of the sutram says nyanta aj khash syat and the vritti of karmani is coming down from 3 to 1 karmanyan so the meaning becomes the affix khash may be used after a causative form of the verbal root aj Ajr company, Ajr company is in the Bhadigana, company means to tremble. So, causative form means to make someone tremble. And this affix may only be used when we have a Upapadam, which is the object, the karma. So, that is the condition for using this affix uh, Khash with a causative form of the Dhatuhu, Ajr company. So, this Sutram is a Apavadaha for Karmanyan. In the absence of this Sutram, Karmanyan the affix un would have applied. So this affix kash is uh, a apavadaha for the affix un prescribed by 3 to 1. Let us not forget 3, 4, 67, kartari krit. So the affix kash is used to denote the subject of the action, the one who is the doer of the action. So it's one, it's one who makes someone tremble or shake. Let's take an example here. Janam ejayati iti janam ejayaha. Janam ejayati, one who makes people shake or tremble. It's called janam ejayaha. In our mythology, he's the son of Parikshit. Son of Parikshit is uh, janam ejayaha. Okay, so first we take the, the verbal root age. Add the affix nich by hetumaticha. 3126 to get a causative form. Anubandha lope. Um, Anubandha lopaha. We remove the uh, chakara by halantyam, remove the nakara by chutu, and then tasya lopaha. We get age plus e, then get ag. Ag gets a dhatu sanya by sanadhyanta dhatavaha. And now we add the affix kash to this dhatu ag, which is a causative form of ag to company, with the upapadam as jana plus nyas. Just as in previous examples, we use a shashti ekavachanam nyas because of the Sutram 2365, Kriti. As explained before, when in, when in connection with the Krit Pratyaha, in this, case, in this case it is Khash, the object or the agent of the action takes the Shashti Bhakti and not the Dvitiya. The Karma will not, doesn't take the Dvitiya by, karma by, by Karmani Dvitiya, but it takes the Nyas. So this 2365 makes the object as well as the agent take the Shashti Vivaktihi when in connection with the Krit Pratyaha. So we get Jana plus Nyas and not Jana plus Am. And then we go through the usual process which is that Jana plus Nyas gets the Upapada Sanya by Tatra Upapadam Saptam Istam 3192 because Anubritti of Karmani is coming down from 3 to 1 and Karmani is a Saptam Yantam. So that's what gives Jana plus Mias the Upapada Sanya by Tatra Upapadam Saptam Istham. Now we remove the eight letters of the affix Khash by Halantyam Rashakvata Dite Tasya Lopaha. So the Shakara Gashit Sanya by Halantyam, the Khakara Gashit Sanya by Rashakvata Dite, then Tasya Lopaha. And we get Jana Nyas plus Ag plus A. Now the affix Khash uh, has a Sarvadhatuka Sanya here by Ting Shit Sarvadhatukam. Ting Shit Sarvadhatukam 34113. So now we understand what is the purpose of Panini putting this uh, Talavya Shakara as it in the Afis Khash. That is in order for Khash to get the Sarvadhatuka Sanya. And that allows Kartari Shap to apply in the next step. So we get Jana Nyas plus Ag plus Shap plus A. Because the affix khash, as explained before, is used in the sense of the agent of the action by kartari krit, which is a kartari. It's used kartari to denote the agent of the action, and that allows kartari shap to apply, because kartari shap only applies, of course, kartari sarvadhatuke. So khash has a sarvadhatuke sanya, it's also kartari, so that allows kartari shap to come in there. Remove the letters from shap by Halantyam Rashakvata Dite Tasya Lopaha. And now we get Jana Nyas Ag plus A plus A. Then of course we do the Gunadesha. The Shap causes the Gunadesha. Uh, so the ending Ikara of Ag is replaced by Ekaraha. We get Jana Nyas plus Aj plus A plus A. So the Gunadesha by Sarvadhataka Arzhataka Yoho. And then Echayava Yavaha. We get the Ayyadesha. And then finally the uh, atogune 
between the uh, akara and the akara pura parayoho ekadesha is the pararupam ekadesha so the a plus a gives a in this case the pararupam is the ekadesha so what do we have now we have jana nyas plus ejaya and now we do the compounding as usual see jana nyas is the upapadam it compounds with ejaya by the sutram upapadam ating and, and jana plus nyas is the upapadam it gets the sanya upasarjanam by 1243 prathama samasa upasarjanam because the the term upapadam in the sutram upapadam ating in the samasa vidhaka sutram the term upapadam ends in the prathama vibhakti and that is why and hence this jana nyas which is the upapadam Gets the Upasarjana Sanya by Prathama Nidhishtam Samas Upasarjanam and then by 2.2.30 Upasarjanam Purvam this Upasarjanam is placed in the prior position as a prior member as the earlier member in the compound so we get Jana Nyas plus Ejaya and this Samudaya Jana Nyas Ejaya gets the Pradipadika Sanya by Krit Tadita Samas Ascha and then we remove the Nyas affix it takes a look elision by 2.4.71 Supo Dhatu Pradipadika Yoho so, so far we have Jana, Ejaya. Now, we have to bring in the Mum Agamaha. Based on the affix Khash being a Kit affix, having Khakara as an It. So, that Khakara as an It in the affix Khash triggers the Mum Agamaha, the augment Mum. For that, we require the next Sutram, which is 6367. Arur Mum. So, that will be our next Sutram. Arur Dvishadajantasya Mum.